Yes, we can hear you. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. So welcome to our uh, live session. Today, we're going to do a training on how to create your community, talk about some use cases for communities and how to get it all set up inside of Travel Pro Suite. So welcome. And then right after this, we're going to do some open office hours. And so this is actually our first uh, release of this kind of of the training and open office hours. So if you'd like to stick around and if you are on the Zoom, I'm gonna just ask you when we get to the open office hour and you do have a question, just keep your question to about five minutes and we'll get through. So awesome um, to see so many of you. Wasn't expecting uh, so many of you guys live, but um, very glad to have you all here. So first of all, how many of you guys would like to have your own community um, where you can show up, host information, maybe you have a Facebook group? Um, how many of you guys, let me know in chat, how many of you guys would like to have your own communities? Yes? Awesome. All right. So then that would explain why you guys are here. And so today we're going to talk about how you simply can create your own community. So I've had a community for years inside a Facebook group and um, with the yeah. release of, I think somebody is uh, just, if you're not talking, if you could just mute yourself, that'd be great. Um, I've had a community um, inside of Facebook for several years now, I want to say since 2016. And since there's now software where you can host your community um, the desire for me to want to get off of Facebook and have my own sort of controlled community has become stronger with the more controls that Facebook puts on access to information, um, even in the communities that you grow. So having a, a place to um, commune, so to speak, with people is important. And for travel advisors, there's multiple different reasons why you all may want to have your own controllable community above and beyond the platforms that uh, Facebook or social media platforms provide you. So with that, um, I'm going to uh, get started. So I'm going to share my screen. So inside of when this replay comes out, and if you are already a part of the Travel Pro Suite community, you will get um, the re replay and you also get access to this checklist and a couple of other additional resources as it relates to setting up your community. But before you get started, the thing that I want you to know, there's just a few things that you want to um, do and have prepped out before you actually get your community started. The first thing is, as always with anything, is what's the purpose? Um, let me know in chat, what are some of the purposes that you guys are thinking that your community will, uh, you'll be using your community for? So some of the things that I've come up with, and I think are great use cases for a community is travel coordination. So let's say um, if you are doing a um, a group trip or you're hosting regular signature group trips, you can absolutely create a community of travelers and um, uh, post communications, promotions, information, FAQs, all of that around your group trip. It's also a great idea if you already have existing clients and you want to create a support hub of sorts where people can ask questions, you can post information around um, key things and people can stay up to date um, or you know get just in time information. So support and travel resources, because there is an app that you'll be able to download um, and your clients will be able to download too, and they'll be able to access that information there. If you are hosting um, educational webinars or workshops, many of you may not be doing that, but some of you guys are host agencies and or have sub agents. And so creating a community for your sub agents is a really great idea so that you can keep them full, you know, keep them with the latest information, courses, training that you're going to be doing. And then um, I've got a couple of clients who actually host regular series, travel related series. So having a community is a really good way to do that. And then just having a community of people that where you congregate your ideal audience for marketing 
marketing purposes is really a great way uh, to utilize a community as well. So the first thing is define the community, what's its purpose, because that's going to really dictate some of the things that you're going to use for setup. So we've got promoting group trips, which is really great. Um, help, uh, help with kid friendly um, international trips find out about, right? So I like this hot destinations and excursions that people want. So you can use it as a way to promote those uh, content pieces. So now that you know what your uh, community is all about, there's going to be um, one of the first things that we're gonna do when we do the setup is we're gonna actually set up a domain. Are you going to want to have a custom URL for your community? So for our community, we have portal.onlinetravelboss.com. That is our URL. Are you going to want to have something similar? So you will need to uh, have access to your domain provider. If that is the case, you want to have a custom domain. You need to have a name for the community. What will you name it? Um, it could, you know, there's no restrictions on our end in terms of what you name it, but you do want to have the name handy and you also want to have a description handy. Some images that you're going to want to prep for so that you can just make the setup really good is if you have a favicon for your business or you want one for your community, you can at, um, create a favicon 16 by 16. You can do that in Canva. You also will need a cover image. This is going to be the image that is um, on the login page when someone logs into the community and then your logo. You need to have your logo in a 200 by 200 uh, PX size, both the cover image and the logo. If you have your branding colors, we do have the option to brand your community with your own colors. So if you have your three colors, a primary, a third color, and then a secondary light color, that would be really good for you when we get uh, ready to customize. And then if you have some additional links that you want to put your, um, uh, are you not, are you not seeing something? Are you guys not seeing my screen? Somebody just asked. Do you guys see the checklist I'm going through? Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, all right, thank you. Okay, so then if you have some links that you want to send people to, so for example, I just came up with these couple of things. So let's say you, for your travel business, you have a promotion, um, you want to promote in this community, uh, let people know about great destinations or whatever, great links to have on the sidebar would be maybe a link to your travel request uh, form, you're uh, allowing people to update their traveler profile through you, there are any travel resources, let's say you have a page that has uh, maybe your resources, your stranger offer, all of those are great links to have available to put on the side menu, and I'm going to go through that. All right. This is really what you need to prep up your prep prep for creating your community. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go into the demo account and we're going to create. So if you are a Travel Pro Suite member, all you have to do is just go to memberships. If you'd like to try us out, I'll give you a link at the end of this training where you can uh, get a 14-day trial and you can try this out yourself. So in the memberships link... This is going to take you to courses, communities, and certificates. Where we're going to go is the communities section. First thing that we want to do is in settings, we want to establish the subdomain or the domain that we're going to actually, the name of what we want to call this. And so here, I'm just going to call this our portal. This is just what I have. If you want to connect your subdomain, I'm not going to do that because this can get a little bit tricky depending on who your domain provider is. I do have a, another training that actually goes to this. Um, we're going to click on create group and then we're going to give this a name and we're just going to call this our demo um, community. And you notice that the group URL is going to be the same as the name. So whatever you name it, that's what's going to be the group URL. Then I'm just going to give it a description. So you want to give your group a meaningful description because that description is also going to live on the front part of the community. Here, I, I didn't, I think we have a favicon, um, but 
I, I probably will have to look to see. I didn't get uh, ready for that, but you can just upload it. So you'll click on this once you get your favicon image. You'll click on this, upload your image. This one by one just means that it needs to be a square size. So when you go in Canva and you design it, just make sure that you design a custom dimension 16 by 16 and that you make sure that it's a square. Excuse me, cover image is gonna be the same thing. Your logo, that's what you're going to upload is your logo in here. I know where my logo file is, so I will upload that. I'm going to upload that. I should have uh, had this prepped out, ready to do um, this. And so here, I think we have a, we may even have a logo. I don't know which one is uh, 200 by 200. So this is a, a note to self. Like always make sure that you label your logo so you know what size they are. If this is too big, it'll let me know that it's too big. So this is all that you need to do to do this initial setup is that you'll need these items. So once you're done, you'll click on create group. And since I didn't upload a um, picture, this is what the picture this is where the picture, that picture is going to look uh, be at right here. And so you can set your password um, to be. So funny. I just like that. And then once you set your password, this will be the password that you use to. Um, preview. So now you've created um, your, you've created this. We do, the system does require that you as a user, all users will need to upload some sort of photo and then provide a logo. And so here, I'm just going to grab an image of myself. And it doesn't have to be an image of yourself. I think um, on our admin account, we're just using our logo. Uh oh. All right, and then complete. And now your profile is done. And so now your community is available and it's, re it's ready. So now what we want to do is just customize it a little bit further now that um, here. So again, I didn't grab an image here and i'm going to actually show you what that looks like when you do put an image there so when you click on settings i'm just going to click on the settings part which is down here this is going to get you so that you can customize the community a little bit further so this is if you ever want to change the name of it but just know changing the name of it potentially will impact your url so just if you do decide to uh, you can change the name but just this url piece here you have the ability to change that later too but if you do that any links or anything that you've used will be impacted description you have about 150 characters for the description so you'll just want to again make this be a little bit um of the group um, and again, because that description does live on the side here. Now, I'm going to save this and I'm going to go to subscriptions. We do have the ability to make a community paid or free. Your community does not have to be um, free. So if you decide to make it a paid subscription based community, you can do that by adding a price. And then, you know, in order for this to work, you will need to have your payments set up um, an integration with a payment provider inside of the system for that part to work. But once you aside, uh, decide the pricing for the community, if that's what you decide to do, you can make that either a one time charge or an ongoing charge that you a recurring charge monthly. I think it's a really great idea for those who want to be in the budget travel space is to create a travel membership. And then you can use this as a community, um, a place where you can charge them for that membership. And then you can release your deals and everything inside of the community and also th via an email list. So this is really a great use case if you want to ever charge for your community. 
then in the branding here, this is where you can edit your favorite con, your cover image, your logo. Then if you click on advanced, what that's going to do is this allows you to move it um, when you're done getting everything set up. You can move it into live mode so that uh, you, you can actually see what it looks like. So you can keep that toggled off until you're ready to release the community. And then if you are a techie person and you've got some additional coding that you want, you have the opportunity to put some JavaScript or custom uh, CSS code here. Then we've got some standard themes that you can utilize. You can utilize the um, default uh, theme. You can utilize any one of these themes or you can customize your theme using your own hex code. So this is a really great thing. If you've got your own colors that you want to use, you can change the colors of everything. And so I'm actually going to go to our Canva account um, because I should have had those codes ready, but I need to have them like memorized, um, but I don't. Do you guys have your hex codes memorized? I don't have mine. I just know they're gold and one of them starts with a C. <laughs> so hold on, I'm gonna grab the codes and just show you what that looks like when you um, when you change the colors. Okay, so our gold is the C. The, uh, I'm gonna make that actually our tertiary color. And hit enter and that's gonna change that. I'm gonna make the primary color black. There, um, it's just because I like the way that, and then I'm gonna leave the font that color, but you can change the theme of this and you can also make it gradient as well. And so you can also make the color mode light or dark. And then a person who's in the community, when they're, they have the option of changing it to a light or dark um, background. And so there we go. We're gonna select, to just save just as I go. Similarly to Facebook, if you ever want to um, ask questions of members that are coming into the community, you can do that. And I think that's really a great idea so that you can start to get more information about your community members. Let's say you are using this for marketing and you want to kind of do a poll. That's what we do on our Facebook group. So we ask people specific questions because we want to know the type of member that's coming in. You can add these questions um, here and you can have it be either a text box, a single select or a multiple select option. Great. If you are specializing in destinations um, or you want to know if they're interested in your destinations, asking questions here. And then um, there is the ability to gamify this, uh, your community by adding um, different levels. So when people do certain actions, they get um, points for those actions. And so you can create an entire gamification um, and a reward system here. We're not really playing with this. We'll probably uh, play with this a little bit more. And as soon as we do, and I've got some recommendations, I'll give you guys some additional recommendations for that. Links, if you have additional links, like I mentioned, if you want to add like navigation links to go to other important information that you've got available, you can do that here inside of just adding a link at the name and then the URL, you can then add the link. Now, one of the features that we just released, um, I'm going to show you that in just a second is because I want to explain, you can make a link private, which would only be available to people who have um, access to a private channel. And I'll show you how you create a private channel. All right. And then you'll save everything. And then your all of this will be available here. So your links will show up here. Your When somebody joins the group, the description will be here as well. You can invite. Let's Before we go to invite, I'm going to just add a channel. So you can have as many channels as you want. And this is really just the way that you can organize the content, your discussions into specific threads and categories. So let's say we wanted to have a, you know, um, discounted uh, discounts. And let's say you, you did have a, uh, you know, uh, last minute deals, let's call that last minute deals and you did a last minute deal for your trip and
So if you do, let's say you, um, you have a membership and it's paid and you have a single community and you just want them access to this channel, that's the way that you can use this and you can make that private and invite people just to that channel, um, have a generic community and then just have a private channel for people who are in the paid mode. So that's one way that you can use channels as well. You can select favicons. You can also do emojis for the favicons as well. So everybody loves private deals, right? Or uh, discount deals. And you can add as many channels as you want. So that's what I would recommend there. And then the other thing that I would do is I would create as your community is a getting started post um, with the instructions of what you want your clients to do, um, your members to do when they get started. So I'm gonna actually show you our community and show you kind of how we've done it. Now, again, I am a coach for travel advisors. So our community is for travel advisors, but your community would be for uh, travel clients. So for our community, what we do is we have a, a post, a welcome post, a get started post. And inside of this post, we tell people what to do and kind of what they can expect. So you'll want to do something similar. So as people are coming in, you can give them some instructions as to what uh, you want them to do. And you can then mark that post as featured. If you are not a part of our community, I invite you to join that now. I'm going to um, put that in the, I'm going to actually copy this and put this in chat. So if you would like to join our community, this is where we're going to be putting all of our replays and all of our stuff. So go ahead and join our community. It is free to join. And then that will be exactly what I just did, will be exactly what you do when you want to send somebody the link to your community. So in your, in your community, and to, I'm gonna cancel this. Um, right here, there's an invite members button. You'll click on that and then you will have your own shareable link that will you'll be able to share. You can also send a direct invitation to somebody uh, with their name and their email address and then send the invite there. So that's what you'll want to do to actually create the community. Um, and I think that we have gone over the major areas. And so with that, I'll just let you know too, when somebody asks to join your community, they click on a uh, link. Let's say you have a link to join the community. They will show up here as a requested member. And then all you have to do is just um, accept them. And then I'm just going to give you an example. So when somebody is in the community, if they're requested, they'll show up here and then admins and contributors and all of that will be here. This works just like any other uh, product where you can do posts, you can, we will be adding um, in the very near future, I want to, I want to say it's on our roadmap in August to add the ability to go live in your community. And as you can imagine, that's what we're, that's this is where we'll be going live in the future. All right, that is what I wanted to show you. And if you would like to become a Travel Pro Suite member, let me drop in the link on how you can do that as well. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, stop sharing and I'm going to open it up for questions and our open office hours. So I'm going to give you the link to get your free trial and you can try Travel Pro Suite out for 14 days. Um, and our premier level does include the membership option that we just went over. In a separate training, I'm gonna go over how to add courses and how to create courses. So that will be coming soon. All right, with that, um, I'm gonna open it up for our open office hours and see if there are any questions or help that you all need um, inside of your travel business. Um, if you'd like to stay uh, for the open office hours, you're more than welcome. But if you 
don't have any questions and you don't want to listen, you are more than welcome to leave. We'll be back here next week. Uh, actually, we'll be back here on Thursday. So we will be doing this two times a week where we um, host uh, training and open off office hours for travel advisors. All right, with that, I'm going to open it up. Any questions? And please just remember to keep your question. Um, we'll keep it to about five minutes. You can take yourself off mute um, and let me know what your question is. Um, I have a question. Do you find that do you find that the community is user friendly? Because when I'm in there, I'm kind of clicking on. I'm kind of lost when I get in there sometimes. Yeah, so I think that you were probably lost because we had two separate communities. So we had one that was our general community, and then we had one for our Travel Pro Suite community. And um, so we've we've eliminated that um, confusion. So I think it was it was a, a, a design the way that we released our community. So we've consolidated our communities into one. And so now you just have one community. Doesn't matter if you have the software or not. We have one community, all of our announcements and everything is going to be in the one community. And then if we have special announcements just for our Travel Pro Suite, we have a, a Travel Pro Suite um, channel that will um, announce stuff to those who have the software. So I think it was a design, a, an implementation issue is that we had two different communities. Right, right. So okay. you'll have to okay. let me know if that if that helps, Ganesha. But I think from a user perspective, um, it's very similar to Facebook groups. Um, so a lot of people are accustomed to that. Really, the, 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 the thing that I see as a a, a great opportunity is, is that we can release courses, replays and everything in one location. Facebook groups, it's very hard to organize the content on Facebook um, so that people like you only have posts, you can't group posts, you can create guides, but it's just, it's very cumbersome to organize data um, inside of the group. So uh, the features that are available inside of the community, I think really do lend itself to better organization. So yes, we do have the ability um, to do affiliates. So you can create your own affiliate. It's available inside of marketing. Um, and I believe that all you have to do is go, if you go into marketing and then you go to affiliates, you can set it up and, and the premiere, which level are you on basic or premiere? I haven't, I haven't gotten in it yet. So today I will do the enrollment. Okay, yes. So when you enroll, um, it's going to be, let me just show you really quick. It's marketing and it's called affiliate dashboard. And this is really a great use case for anyone who's doing exactly what Tabitha wants to do, which is to um, give somebody a link. You'll, let's say you have a trip to Bali. It's my favorite thing uh, to talk about lately is let's say you have a funnel for Bali and you've got somebody, you're working with an influencer, maybe another travel advisor, and you want to give them a percentage or in the case of Tabitha, you want to give them a referral. You can, you'll be able to give them a link um, that they, they'll sign up as an affiliate and then you'll be able to give them a link unique to a campaign, which can be tied to a funnel. Um, it could be tied to your contact funnel, like your travel request funnel. You can tie it to whatever you want. And when somebody uses that link, that, that record will live with that person. And if you're paying them points, percentage, or whatever, you're going to be doing the rewards, you can set that up. So that feature is available to you, Tabitha. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> hey, good afternoon, Sunday. Thank you so much for, for hosting this. Um, I had a question about like with the adding different channels. So yeah. would it work if you have like your, your general, you know, community, but then maybe for different trips have a private, you know, community. So then for like say okay all the people going to bali here's a private link so then you can go through you know whatever day-to-day -day details that you're hosting you know just about bali they have a private link so that information lives there 
Like, is that, or would that make it like too confusing? Because then now you've got all of these separate channels for the different trips. So I love the use case. I love the, what you're suggesting. I don't know that I would make them private. Um, I would make them public because I would want people to have fear of missing out that they're not <laughs> getting. So I would mm -hmm. post and I wouldn't, I wouldn't post personal information. I would never do that in a community. So if it was personal itinerary information or that kind of stuff, but if it was general information like an FAQ about the destination, um, things that you want to know about the destination or what have you, I would make those public channels. And then as I'm posting, I would just do individual, I would post it to the destination channel and then um, have it there. Um, so the idea of private is certainly is a great idea to use for exclusivity, but the thing that comes to mind immediately, Sugar, is, okay, so somebody is in the private Bali, they go to Bali because they signed up for Bali. Now, now I do Bali again, right? Then I got, I've got this Bali, you know, the second round and, you know, am I only talking to the, the current Bali users versus the ones that went before, uh, right? And, 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 I, and again, I want everybody who's in my community to know about Bali. And when we start posting pictures about Bali, I want them to be like, oh man, I should be there. Like, that's what I really want. So I wouldn't make it private. I would, um, I would, I would leave it open. I would create the channels okay. by destination, but I would not make them private. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Because I guess I've but been on right, right. Because like, I've been on a couple different um, trips with other people, and they'll usually have it where, like, when you get your meeting link to talk about like whatever trip that we're going on with, they'll, they'll do multiple trips. But then it's it's only those people who have paid for this trip. And they're yep. just talking about like that. So that's why I thought like, oh, maybe that's like the standard to keep it. You could do that. I, you, okay. you could do that. I'm not suggesting mm -hmm. that you can't. So the functionality is available to do exactly what you just described. I personally wouldn't because I want everybody. Right, right, right. No, it's, it's, <laughs> like, it makes sense to keep it open because it's true because then people start seeing, they're like, oh, wait oh, a minute, man. I didn't sign up with for that trip. And That's right. That I didn't thing. sign up. I should have signed up. Yeah. And I don't even yeah. care if they come to the meeting because I want them to see all the great stuff that we're doing. Because again, nothing that I would be sharing would be private. Th does that make sense? But if you do exactly. have some very yeah. exclusive private information that you would only want certain eyes yeah, to be on, just... then absolutely. But just the way that you described it, the feature ability to do it is there. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you for joining. And we will be here again on Thursday. We are actually going to be talking some more about uh, memberships I'm actually going to do uh, on Thursday uh, another sort of installment on like how do you add content and courses will be one of that let me make sure um, thank you Tabitha I appreciate that and with that you all have a great rest of your day and uh, we will talk soon Sandy go ahead and stay on I'm going to stop the recording